Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with a bonus video. Um, so I met up with my friend Maureen um, and she gave me some stuff to put on eBay for her. Now, Maureen has been reselling for 50 years, okay? And I met her, uh, she was a customer from Boring Job and we started talking and I met her and she resells everything, literally everything from antique guns to Tiffany jewelry, like everything and everything in between. So um, her husband passed away and he was the eBay lister and um, she is not wanting to actually put the things on eBay herself, that's what he did. Um, but she gets everything prepared, everything ready and then um, I take pictures, get them listed and we have this cool um, symbiotic relationship. I get some cool things on my eBay. Um, she gives me a little bit of the profits. Like, it's just, it's worked out well. And, um, guys, if I could, I want to absorb as many things as she will teach me. She is pretty amazing with that stuff. So, anyway, I have a pile of stuff that needs to go on eBay. Hi, guys. Both of the dogs came to visit. Um... And I haven't looked at it yet. I know like one thing I think in there or two. Uh, so I was going to open it. I thought I would video and show you guys. So some of it's jewelry. Most of it's probably jewelry um, and some other things. So anyway, here we go. Uh, let's take a peek. I know this is not jewelry. I have seen what's in here, but it's really kind of cool. So I'll show you. So it's really neat, guys. She um, has this little paper that she fills out everything and packs it in the box. And I take pictures and put it on eBay. And when it sells, I close the box and put a label on it. It's really cool. All right, so let me show you what's in here. Look at these guys. Look at that. These are sterling silver dessert forks, six of them. Aren't they crazy? I think they're dessert forks, let's see. Um, Peter Kreider, bright, bright cut coin silver pastry dessert forks okay so they're coin silver so not 95 i think that's 900 i believe um anyway so cool so these are going to start at 349.99 and they're going to go for auction okay um they're from 1850 isn't that amazing oh, look at these things we don't have things like this anymore isn't that crazy there's an m monogram so cool. All right, let me put these to the side. I just have to make sure that the papers stay with the item or, ooh, baby, that could be a disaster. Okay, so let me put this one to the side. This is kind of a weird video, guys. You're gonna have to bear with noises and things, but I think it'll be worth it to see things. Um, okay, so we have a little mailer here. What have we got? Eek. Okay. We have a cute little box. Oh, she did show me this. She said it's hard to get out of the box, but it's fantastic. Oh, you guys are going to like this. Look at David Yerman. David Yerman earrings, you guys. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. What are... um? Oh, they're lever backs. I just wanted to see so you could see. Door knockers. Okay, so I'm totally upside down. My bad. Here you go. Door knocker style David Yerman earrings. Let's see what we know about these. Genuine David Yearman, Sterling 925 and 14K gold door knocker pierced earrings. She writes great descriptive. I could learn from her, um, what are those called, guys? Titles. That's a great title for searching, right? If people are searching for Sterling uh, earrings, if they're ser searching for door knockers, they're going to pop up. Searching for gold, if they're searching for just David Yearman, they're going to pop up. It's really cool. Okay, these are going to start at $224.99, and they're going to go for auction. Her things are a little bit pricier. She's got nice stuff, um, which hopefully will allow my eBay um, to attract people who are looking for a little bit um, higher dollar items, too, which is always good, right? Okay, this is so loud. I'm so sorry. You're going to have to bear with my video, you guys. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. If you can't stand it, turn it off. I don't blame you. It's loud. My husband would not watch this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. I don't know what's in here. Dun -dun. 
Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh boy, it's a ring. Look at that. United States Air Force. It's really cool. Okay, let's see about this. Vintage United States Air Force. And look, she put the abbreviation and wants it written out because people might search for that and they might search for that. Very smart. Uh, it's a size 12. Rare to find with the U.S. Air Force insignia. Great ring. Detailed. It's sterling. Um, wrist to knuckle measurement. Interesting. I don't know what that means. Wrist to knuckle. Hmm. All right. Uh, starting at $89.99. A really cool ring. Oh, and part of the deal is I show you guys too, right? So who knows? Maybe somebody um watching this video will want to go buy that, right? Symbiotic. <laughs> and I like it. The only thing I wish Maureen texted. She doesn't text. First world problems, right? Call Julie. Okay, here we go. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, what is this, you guys? Because I've had one of these. Okay, we gotta know. What cool box? It's got a little fuzzy in there. Let's get that out. What is that thing? I need to know. And did I sell it so, so cheap? Oh yeah, I probably did. Rare antique 18 gold fancy pocket watch key winder fob. <gasps> That's what it is. Look at that. 18 carat, $99.99. Okay, so guys, now I know. See, I told you, she's got the knowledge. I sold something very similar to this, or I, ha I don't even know if it sold, to tell you the truth. Very, very similar. It had this end here for sure. Cool. Okay, good to know. Look, we're learning. Well, you guys probably already know. You guys are smart. Okay, let's uh, put this away. I'll probably get these on eBay this week. Um, it's going to be a little slower at our house for busy season. Ah, busy season. For boring job because um, A, busy season is just about over. Um, and B... Um, it's going to be cold next week, so I don't think Jeff's going to be out on the road. Okay, Ross Simons. I don't know if that's really what's in there. Um, ooh, check that out. That's pretty neat. Bancroft, 120th, 12 karat, gold filled, and this is sterling. Wow. That's a hunk of, hunk of, chunk of, chunk of sterling, guys. All right, let's see what she describes it as. Uh, rare Bancroft sterling, 120th, 12 karat gold, uh, navy military eagle pin. Rare to find in this size. Anchors are gold filled and eagle is sterling. Missing one fastener. Really, really cool. Okay. I don't understand how it went on, goes on, but I'm sure whoever's looking for this understands. Very cool. I wonder if this screws off. Yeah, I bet this screws off maybe and this goes through and it's missing its little plate thing. That's really cool. All right, this one's going to start $79.99, you guys. Really cool. Military collectible, right? Uh, let's put this in here. Um. Put that there. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay. Should I do the noise? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, she showed me this a while ago, and I fell in love with this. Look at this, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? It is heavy. It's sterling. Um, she showed me this when I went to meet her at her house. Um... Let's learn this maker mark. Okay, she told, let's see. This is vintage. Eek, I can't get it. Vintage. Eek. Uh, Reveriano. 
Revert and Maria Castillo Tax Co. Sterling Ball Link Bracelet. It's amazing. It's 24.8 grams. No ball dents. $109.99. This is incredible. It feels so nice in your hand, too, guys. How long is it? Because uh, you guys could be interested in this one. Uh, seven and an eighth inch long. Isn't that gorgeous? Eek! So good. Uh, she's starting this one at one oh nine ninety nine. You guys, one oh nine ninety nine. Let's put this here. Are you hating this video or liking it? Just let me know because of all the noise, and I won't do it again if it's too loud. Okay, we got this one. A little guy oh what's in here i have this old i have a case like this you guys and it was my dad's and there's a pin in it with an accordion <laughs> he took accordion lessons which is so cute and then there's a quarter that he started to cut in and trace around um who's on the quarter george washington i don't know but they're both in there and they were my dad's and <laughs> i don't know what they're for um okay Ooh, 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 this is pretty. What is this? Look at that. Oh, she's so pretty, huh? Okay, let's, an E. Oh, wow, look at even that engraved letter. It's gorgeous. All right, let's see what she says. Rare Antique Art Nouveau Sterling Ladies blown out head puffy heart charm very cool very 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 cool rare to find with a perfect nose and cheek i can see how that would happen gorgeous okay this one's starting at 49.99 so 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 pretty <laughs> i love art nouveau guys i'm into it I'm into it. Okay, let's put this in here. Close that little case up. Um, I might have not had it in there very well. She always likes to put a box in the mailer, which is nice, right? Everything's protected. Okay, that can go there. Let's see. I've got my ratty old house sweater on. Can you guys see it? <laughs> I like it. I call them house sweaters. So they're just cardigans. Okay, what is in this? Oh, I see a uh, date on her paper already. It says 1898. Oh boy, are we ready? Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, it feels like there's more stuff in here. Oh, there is. Oh my goodness, golly gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you guys, I love, love, love this. It's so cool, isn't it? What does that say? We're going to see. Okay. And then we have this chain. Is it a bracelet? Like, would you wear this as, on the bracelet? Okay, we need to see. But look at how pretty this is. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's see. Antique Victorian 1898 Sterling Engraved Links Repose. Repose. I can't remember what that means, you guys. Repose. Hmm. Key Heart Lock Clasp. Patent January 3198 on the heart. Hollow links, minimal dings dense, seven and a quarter inches without the clasp. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. $99.99. We can always mark down. She said something. Um, cannot force to make key work. Slide bar in photo in pics. Okay. Um so she always tells me, um, we can always mark it down. We can't mark it up, which is a good thing to remember, right? It is. Remember that when you're selling. Um, 
I am in love with this. A absolute love. How does this fit? Ugh, it's not going to fit. I love this, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, sorry. I know I'm being annoying. Um, really, really love this one. Really, 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 really. Like, tempted to buy it and try to lose weight. <laughs> I am. I am, I am. Oh my gosh. Okay. I did have a very healthy breakfast this morning. And my grocery shopping, I bought very healthy things. So I'm trying to eat better. We'll see how it goes. All right, here we go next. All right, we've got some dog glitter. <laughs> it stayed in my car a couple days, which is dangerous. Okay, what are you? Oh, there was something else I saw in here. I remember. Ooh, what is this? Hmm. What are they? Randall hand wrought sterling. Does it say ASS? <laughs> Just kidding. I think it says A88. <laughs> All right, let's see what these are. I don't even know what these are. Are they napkin rings? I, I don't know. Yeah, they are. Okay. A pair of Randall Arts and Crafts A and C hand. See, right, arts and crafts and A and C, guys. Hand wrought sterling hammered napkin rings, A88, not ASS. <laughs> Monograms. Uh, the two weigh 43.7 grams. Wow. All right, these are going to start at 99.99. Very, very cool. Let's get them so they're not dinging each other. And then they're safe for shipping. Done. In a little box with the paper for me Dun -dun. okay okay dog glitter sorry folks all right what else do we oh i saw this wait till you guys see this um this isn't in a box she must not have had a box but did she give me a paper oh no she didn't give me a paper on it oh dear all right i don't know why she didn't give me a paper on it but i do know it is this is sterling silver you guys um it's a mint julep cup from the Kentucky Derby. Isn't that cool? So flippin' cool. Oh, paper. <laughs> I knew she wouldn't do that. I'm like, where is that? Oh yeah, I forgot something. Mark J. Sears, LBJ, Lyndon Johnson, Shelbyville, Kentucky Sterling Mint Julep Cup. Isn't that cool? So cool. Starting at 325. Send priority. I sure will. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, there's the LBJ. Hmm. How cool is that, right? And that's st solid sterling. That's pretty neat. Uh, she showed me this and I said, is it silver plate? She showed me this. She showed me the forks and she showed me the um, David Yerman. Because I have been waiting for David Yerman to come here. <laughs> um I said to her is that silver plate she goes no it's solid I'm sterling I'm like oh okay sorry <laughs> all right here we go ooh, ooh, ooh. oh wow 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 you guys this is so cool isn't it um, okay, there's a hinge there, so I'm going to try this very gently. Oh my gosh! This is so cool! <laughs> you know what it reminds me of, guys? It totally does. Um, Jeff and I were on our honeymoon, and we found this really cool, like, street with all these funky little tiny houses that were shops. And we went in one, and it had this little tiny purse. It's about this big. And it was made out of a beer can, but it was like perfect back in the day when I'd be going to like out with Jeff, like to a bar or whatever, it would slide my IDs in and whatever it was. I mean, this is back in the late nineties. So, um, you know, there wasn't the internet. This was really cool to find and it had a little flap and Velcro. Oh my gosh. I love that thing. Um, and it broke and I went online when it broke, I went online. It was 
online at that point. Uh, I found another one. I have it in my closet. I'll find it at some point, but it reminds me of that. Like, okay, we can get our ID in here. <laughs> I know it is so much better than that, but that's what came to mind. Okay, 1872 Gorham Lion Anchor G Mark Aesthetic Hinge Sterling 100 Fancy Card Case. Okay. Uh, when you hold the card case upside down, the cover stays tightly shut. Excellent. Um, photo, if you can. Okay, I can do that. Small dent on the bottom. That's what she wants me to get a photo of right there. I can do that. So a card case. Okay, so what was a card case? Is this where you would um, put people's calling cards that came to see you? I'm not sure. Our dance card. Would your dance card go in here? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. I'll look it up after, too. That is so amazing. Gosh, I told you guys, she finds good stuff. She drives all over creation. She will go everywhere. She is constantly picking. Um, really cool. All right, here we go. Let's see what this is. Probably have about four more after this, I think. Okay, here we go. Oh, I didn't tell you what this was going to start at. You guys probably saw it, but let's see. That's going to start at one $199.99 for the card case. Oh, boy. Hi, Zuzi. That was a big shake. Um, oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Little book charms, like book lockets. Oh, wow. Wow, Zers. I think that's glass in there. Wow. Did she leave them all open for me so I don't have to mess with it and then I just closed that one? I think she did. <laughs> Good job, Jolie. She probably watched a video where I broke something. <laughs> there we go. Oh my. Those are cool, aren't they, you guys? So we have a little lot of book charms. Let's see. Okay, four vintage gold filled engraved double heart book lockets. Bid prices for four lockets. Here's the info on them. We'll want you to sell this one alone. Okay. <laughs> They'll, they're going to ask me for that one. Don't do it. Okay. Um, which one is it? Has beveled glass photo cover. Okay, let's look. Beveled Beveled glass photo cover. Maybe it's that one that I said, oh, this is glass. Yes, it's this one. Okay, so the beveled glass, yeah, the edge right there. That's cool. All right. All are unmarked. Uh, this lot is going to start at $49.99. Okay. Let's wrap these up carefully. I just want to close that a little bit more. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll wrap one, make sure it's covered, wrap another, make sure it's covered, wrap another. You get the drill. <laughs> All right, let's put those in there. That is really cool, you guys. I just sold, um, I've sold most of her stuff. We sold the fetish necklace. Um, we sold the Tiffany. Uh, I don't know. We sold almost everything we had already that I showed you guys before. All right, let's see what this is. I like the little box, little Disney box. Uh, it's going to be hard to get out of here, I think. Oh, it is Mickey. I can see on the paper. Oh, cool. 14 karat Mickey Mouse charm. That is so cute. All right, let's see. Um, Disney 14K solid gold Mickey Mouse heart uh, head pendant or charm in original Disney box. Gonna start at $114.99. 1.6 grams of 14K. Super cute. I know some of you are Disney lovers out there. So I usually set them at seven day auctions and I try to set them, 
excuse me, you guys. I try to set them um, so the auction will end on the weekend when people are um, maybe not at work and able to bid a little bit more. Long time ago when I started listing on eBay, I read the um, eBay book for dummies, uh, eBay for dummies book. And there were a lot of little pointers like that. I don't know how many of them still apply. Um, but that was why I'm, oh, look at all the puffy hearts. Oh boy. We sold the other puffy hearts that she had. So look at those. Those are beautiful. Okay, let's see. A lot of five vintage gold filled uh, engraved heart lockets. Beautiful. Beautiful. All clasp closed tightly. $59.99 for the pile. So cool. Okay, let's um I'm gonna do it like that and then they won't be bonking each other. <laughs> nice work, Julie. Um okay, let's put this in here. Alright, next. You guys, I started working on a new um what are those things called? 3D model and it's a wooden um, owl clock. And uh, Jeff was sitting next to me and I started to put it away and I looked at the clock. I'm like, hon, it's quarter 12. How did this happen? <laughs> we usually are in bed by like 10 at the latest. So I'm a little tired today. I feel like I'm always saying that. Apologies. All right, here we go. All right, so it's a necklace. I'm gonna close that. It always makes me nervous that those will break. Um, and it says Dane Craft on the paper. I'm cheating, but here, let's look. Oh, hold on. How does she know it's Dane Craft? Let's learn, you guys. Let's learn from the master here. It must be that mark. Let's look. All right. Vintage Felch. Dane Craft Sterling Silver Oval Link Necklace. I have no idea what that means. I'll have to look it up. Um, let's look at this closely together. I know I need lotion badly. Okay, so there it is. That must be the, the symbol she's looking at. Um, is there anything else that's telling her? Doot, 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 doot. She's very good with old marks. Nope. All right, so that must have been giving her all her information there, guys. This is very pretty. Look at it. How long is it? 15 and a half inches long. It's beautiful. Okay, let's seal this one up. I think we just have one left, you guys. One left. Oh. Starting bid, 89 99 Okay, here we go. Did I tell you I started reading a book series called, For, in the first book's Fourth Wing? I think I told you. It's so good, you guys. <laughs> I'm totally hooked. Totally hooked. Okay. Okay, random acts of art. Guess what it is, you guys. Okay, here we go. What do you think it is? <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wowzer Kazowzers. Let's see what she says about this, okay? Wow, Zers. I'm a sucker for sparkles, you guys, like this. Oh, so good. All right, let's see. Vintage designer Trafari question mark patent that prong set rhinestone brooch pin clip earrings. Quality set. Hmm. $49.99 now. It's interesting. It's stunning. Okay, so where does it say patent pending? Do you guys see that? 
If I saw these, I would instantly be wondering if they're Juliana. That would be my instant reaction. A, because of those three holes there. And I've noticed that a lot of Juliana earrings have that. Um, B, because this pin isn't, is a part of the piece. Okay. C, because do you see how it kind of, there's some puddling along the lines of these, looks like a, an eight almost. Interesting. All right. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if I could figure out if this is Trafari and, um, pass some knowledge on to Maureen at uh, Trafari. That's what she wrote. If this is Julianne on, ugh. Juliana and pass some info on to Maureen. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? She teaches me so much. Really cool. And look, it's got a seatbelt. <laughs> All right, you guys, that one's going to start. I think I already told you $49.99. Okay. So, so pretty. One of my Juliana finders out there, you know who you are. Take a screenshot. <laughs> Beautiful. I don't see anywhere that says patent pending. I must be missing it. There we go. Okay. Awesome. All right, you guys, I'm so glad you hung out with me. Did you enjoy this? It's a little bit different of a video. It's just going to be a bonus video, but um, I can do this every time and I would love to show you things like this. Did we look at everything? Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. I, I I'm going to go take a nap. That's what I'm doing. Nap time. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you on Tuesday. Um, I originally said Tuesday was going to be mixed jewelry. But it's not. And I lied. It's going to be Monday. Next week is a little bit of a weird week. Okay. So Monday is sterling silver. And then mixed jewelry Tuesday, Wednesday. And then no video Thursday. Okay, so 5 p.m. Eastern on Monday. Be there or be square. <laughs>